What's going on guys? In this video we're going to make a few changes to our GraphQL server in Golang in order to use the Gin HTTP framework. Remember to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. On a previous video we created a GraphQL schema and using that schema as the input we generated a GraphQL server in Golang using this tool SheQL Gen. And as we can see here, the code generated by this tool included the HTTP library here and here. So we are going to refactor this code in order to use Sheen HTTP framework. Okay, first I'm going to comment all this code and I'm going to create a new server, server equals to gin that default. Now we have a new instance of a gin HTTP server and here we can adapt these two lines. So here we need to use server.get. This is going to be the endpoint in order to access the playground. That is the IDE to execute queries using the GraphQL server. And here, this is going to be a post endpoint, server.post. And finally, we need to start the server. And this is gonna be server.run. And we need to pass the port. And we need to add this here. Okay. And now we need to replace this and this. So I'm going to create a new folder where I'm going to add two handlers for each of these endpoints. I'm going to call it HTTP. And I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it gin handlers that go. Okay, the package is going to be HTTP. And here we have two endpoints. We have the GraphQL handler, that is this one, where we're going to run the mutations, the queries, etc. And we have this endpoint where we're going to serve the GraphQL playground. So we need to create two handlers here. The first is going to be a playground handler, so I'm going to create a function for that. Playground handler, and this is going to return gene that handler func. And we also going to have a GraphQL handler, so I'm going to create another function. And this will be GraphQL handler, like that. And we're going to return also a handler func from the Sheen library, like this. Okay, I'm going to grab this code from here. And this is going to be part of a playground handler here. And I'm going to assign it to a variable. And here I need to return a function. This is going to be actually an anonymous function that is going to receive a context, sheen that context. And here I need to use the serp HTTP function from this playground so I can publish this playground using HTTP like this. See that writer and see that request. Okay, and that's what we need for the playground handler. And now let's work on the GraphQL handler. Let's go back. In this case, I need to grab this code from here. And I'm going to paste it here. And this is part of the code that is generated by this tool. So if we go here, 
this is the executable schema where we pass the resolvers and some other parameters. Let's go back. And here we have the config that is actually this struct where we pass all these parameters here. Okay, we need to return something similar to this. And I'm going to copy this. And that's pretty much all we need for our handlers. So I'm going to add those here. So here I need to add HTTP dot, this is the playground handler, playground handler like this. And here I need to use the GraphQL handler, this one. So this is going to be HTTP dot GraphQL handler like that. And we do remove everything from here. Okay, now let's start the server. Go run server.go. Okay, now let's go to the browser. Let's refresh this and let's create a new video. Okay, and let's run a query. Now we are able to create new videos using this mutation and we are able to get the existing videos. Now let's add a middleware to add some kind of authentication to our API. Let's go back. As we can see here, we are processing all the requests, get, post, etc. I'm going to close this and I'm going to create a new folder, middleware. And I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it basic auth that go. So the package is going to be middleware. I'm going to add a function that is going to be basic auth. And here I need to return chain that handler func like this. And here I need to return gin that basic out and I need to pass a struct that includes the list of accounts gin that accounts and I'm going to pass pragmatic as the user and reviews as the password this is going to use basic authentication so I'm going to apply this middleware so I need to specify it here server that use and here I need to assign middleware dot basic auth okay now we are applying the middleware here so let's run this again and as we can see here the authentication middleware is running so we need to set the credentials in order to enter to the playground so this is going to be pragmatic and the password is going to be reviews. And now we are able to access to the playground. Okay, I'm going to run this mutation. And as we can see here, we're able to create the video. And if we go to the headers that we are sending as part of the request. Okay, let's run this again. Let's say video one, user one, and let's change the URL. Let's clear this and let's run this again. And here, as we can see, here, we are sending this authorization header. This is the user and the password, base64 encoded. And the same, if we clear this and we run this again, we should have the same here. To run this query where we get the list of existing videos that's pretty much all i have for today thank you for watching and i see you in the next video take care bye